Hey y'all, let's check out Kulani. Hey y'all, welcome to April Diamonds Day 14. I am Shy in Second Life and today we are at Kulani Beach Resort an all-inclusive hangout. And I did it again, Joe. It is officially midnight right now, so it is already the 14th because apparently I like to stress myself out. And on top of everything else, I thought that it would be a great idea to have some tea. So now not only am I fighting against time, I'm also fighting against myself. But you know what? We will prevail like we always do. So this is a beautiful beach. This is an adult sim, so no kitties would be allowed. So it's a nice little place that you can go. And if you have kids in Second Life, get a babysitter and come with your little boo thing and enjoy you guys selves at this beach. Lots of sitting areas, lots of beautiful views. Um, my apologies, somebody is getting it on right here. I'll go ahead and blur that out because it's an adult beach. So they're gonna be doing some adult things. So this place seems fairly large with a lot of different things to do. I know that when you res down, they have a board that shows you all of the different things and places that you can go at this resort. Let's go ahead and do a quick outfit check. It's nothing major, y'all. It's nothing major. This is actually like an outfit that I put on when I'm trying to pop around and check out lands. But I felt like it was fitting for the beach today, so I decided to wear it today for the beach. Got my little flip-flops. No accessories because we're at the beach. I mean, I got some little earrings on, but besides that, it's nothing. Am I a little bit disappointed in myself that I waited so long to record? Yes. But, you know, it's, it's Saturday. Well, Sunday now, so there's that as well. Um, this beach seems like there are, pl it, it's plenty of people here, but everyone is kind of spread out. So that's a pretty good thing. Hopefully I don't run into anyone because people like to get it in, um, in public in Second Life. Like that is a very common occurrence. So hopefully we don't run past any of that. Otherwise, I'm going to have to skip that part. So lots of setting spaces. You can come with a group of people. They got the little stripper pole if that is your cup of tea. So on this beach, they have different parts. This beach seems as though they do offer rentals because this is an all-inclusive place. Um, but they also have like plenty of like neutral hangout spots. And I really like that as well. I do like that it's adult. I will not lie because you don't have to worry about running into any kitties or anything like that. They have a whole little dance area that you can come to and enjoy yourself. There are a couple of people here. There is no specific um, attire. There are some beaches in Second Life where they are new beaches and they hold very um, tightly to that rule. But this beach is not one of them. Nice little seating areas. I really like the view here. I am not in shared environment simply because it is nighttime in Second Life. It is 10.04 in Second Life. And so every land that you go on, just about, it's going to be dark. So it seems like they have lots of cool activities that you can do here, um, especially in the water. They have lots of little water rafts and things like that. So you can come chill out, get in a little floaty, have your little drink. They have these dance balls out so you can dance and things like that. I feel like if you're going to be here as like a rental type space, they have little games over here and things like that. You're not going to be bored. Being bored is going to be the last thing that you are going to have to worry about because it seems like there are so many different activities to do here. I like how all of the different spaces are kind of sectioned off with like plants and um, like shrubbery and things like that so that there is a separation in the spaces, especially considering um, I have passed by quite a few people um, getting it in and I was kind of able to go around them with just the different little pathways that they have 
this is cute all of these items should be shareable can you click it yeah, all these items are shareables so if you guys click on it you can get them this place is my story compatible so if you are using the my story um hood you'll be able to get your stats up and things like that i'm not too familiar with my story but i know that there are certain things that you have to do in order to like stay healthy and things like that and so this land is my story compatible so in this space they have lots of nice little yummies we've seen this tray on other lands so nice little sweets tray they definitely have drinks, which is always a good thing. All of these items are shareable, so you can just click on them and they will give you these items. Really yummy cupcakes. I love the color. Nice, cool, refreshing lemonade. I love it. Very, very nice. So this place is TP friendly, which I feel like is a good thing because there is lots to see and do here. And there are lots of places to walk. But if you come to a spot and you just want to get to the other side, you can easily get to the other side. Little yummy tarts. All of the food looks really yummy here. What kind of drinks do they have? They got some hard liquor. That's liquor right there. Does it tell you like about the liquor? Is this like a flight? Oh, it tells you how to, oh, okay. It tells you a little bit about the liquor. Oh, how cute is that? Their properties um, for rent are very nice, very on brand for the land. So you get like these cute little like luxury huts if you will i love the flowers that they have here all the little tropical plants that they have very colorful and pretty this is another one of their rental options and it's rented as you can see and we don't go on property that is rented we respect people in second life a lot of people don't do that but we do so most of their places here seem to be rented out. Hopefully we can find one that's not occupied. So we can take a look. Okay, here we go. So before I even finish. So we can take a look around this one. So we'll see what the pricing is like on this land. In case anybody is watching. Might be looking for like some place to go. Like a community. So this is unfurnished. So maybe this is not like a... It says it's a beach resort, so I guess it's just the resort part is the beach, but these are actual like rentals. What's the information on this? Four fifty a week for three hundred and fifty prams. That's not bad. So this seems like it's an actual land, like a community sim that you can come and live on. It doesn't have they come with a little jacuzzi. They don't have like um pre decorated spaces like you would have it like a resort resort as the all of the other amenities is what makes up the resort and i get that but you can also live here and you can decorate these spaces on your own so this one they give you 350 prams so this is cute i like the separation in the spaces this is a scarlet creative home does this open up yes I love it beautiful views can't be mad at the views at all so this is really cute and I feel like for 450 lindens that's pretty good for um let me open this up I'm stuck in here that's pretty good to live on a community land. When I tell you a lot of times, and I know I spoke about this in one of my um, previous videos, they are they charge crazy prices to live on a community sim. So 450 a week is not bad at all. At all, that's actually a really good price. So they have a waterfall. You guys know I love a good waterfall love a good waterfall so this land seems to me it's more of like a chill type land they do have activities that you can do and things like that but i just really get a mostly like a chill hangout type vibe the seating spaces are ample which for me just definitely lets me know that it is more of a chill out vibe so this is their nude beach but swimsuits are optional so we'll go ahead and look and see 
go to the beach and see we are avoiding the people because there is a 99.9% .9 chance that anybody that we see on this beach they are going to be in very compromising positions so I like that they have like these little like adult games and I like that so this definitely would be a nice place for like a date night with your boo I wouldn't recommend it as a first date unless you get down like that in second life you know do what you want to do how you want to do it but I don't know if people would be okay with this being like a first date many probably would so this this is a good dating option got the little flamingos chilling in the water the water is beautiful so yeah, it's more, I'm more um, pleasantly surprised with this space than anything because this really was a off the cuff type location. I literally was like, I cannot bring this other place to you guys. I have to find some place that is better because that place was like a little patch. I don't know what I thought I saw when I came up to the place and I saved it but when I came back to it I, it was a it was a absolute not absolutely not I said I'm not I'm not doing this here so when you first come to the land they do have a TP board that'll teleport you to different locations on um, the land so this is one of the places that I got teleported to is Alice in Wonderland themed and I really like it it's so cute we've seen quite a few lands not a bunch not a bunch but quite a few spaces that um did the Alice in Wonderland theme and they're all so different and unique I really like that this is why I never mind when I come across places in Second Life that have decided to kind of go with some of the same themes that other people or other places have there's a cute little mini golf course I'm sure it's interactive so you can come and play mini golf with your friends or by yourself um because everyone has everyone has a different take on things everyone has like i said everyone has a different take on alice in wonderland and the way that they want to put it together and just kind of make it their own i really like that i love the beach sounds i love the surround i love the glowy parts i love all of that about this space so this is a really nice pleasant surprise so they also have a little buffet type hand food um space i like the little drinks and these are like little finger foods that you can partake in can you click on them yep all of these items are shareable so you can click on them and they'll give you the items this looks very very good very very yummy i like that they have um, a lot of savory items on this table as well as something sweet let's get you some little tacos or maybe not i thought this was chocolate but this looks like the bowl looks like it's pasta so it might be like meatballs to try to make them seem like they're like little cake pops but they might be meatballs and then these are little this look like tomato juice with grilled cheese so this is a savory um, finger foods table, really nice. So they did a lot in this space and I really like that. I love to see how um, creators in Second Life make the most out of their spaces. You didn't need to have a huge space to do nice things over here. So they took a space that's not too big and they really did the most with it and i really do like that they did a good good job at making sure that they did the most with the spaces they took as many opportunities to create experiences in each individual space this is such a cute fun tray little chocolate treats little chocolate tart that looks so chocolatey so very chocolatey little cotton candy drinks super cute we got this going on you know, fun fact maybe not so fun I never saw 
Alice in Wonderland. I did not. I have no clue what it is about or anything like that. And I see it so often um, that it really makes me want to sit down and watch the movie because apparently... I am the odd one out when it comes to this. They have a whole little, you guys hear the fireworks, a little fireworks section over here. So you probably have like a nice fireworks show. We're gonna kind of go off the beaten path. I love these flowers, these little huge roses that look like they're like love letters that they've made into roses. Very pretty. So yeah, I'm, I'm very pleasantly surprised with this land. You know, I'm still, I'm still doing a pretty good job. You know, still doing a pretty good job. I kept telling myself, I'm like, girl, you've been doing good. You've been doing good. I almost slipped up with the last place I was going to show you guys, but I redeemed myself quickly with this spot. So this is such a nice, fun, interactive space. And it's very different from the space that we were on at the beach where everything was very calm cool and collected it wasn't much to do there it was much more just like hanging out and chilling oh this looks like a fun table with not many activities to do but here there are plenty of activities that you can partake in and i really really like that so it's like you can chill out at the beach and then you can come here and really be able to enjoy yourself. This is cute with the little squirrelies and things like that. So what's on this table? Nice little sweet donut treats. The little drinks. I love the food in Second Life. Absolutely love the food in Second Life. Everything always looks so yummy and so appealing. I love it. So they have a nice savory tray, um, savory table at the beginning of the land where we saw they had like the hot wings and the oysters and things like that. And then they have sweet trays. This is a lot of different food over here. All of these items you can click on. Can you click on these? Yep. Some of them look like you couldn't, but you can. Yep. So everything on this table, you can click on it and it is my story compatible and you could get these items. Some yummy, yummy. What are these? Chili cheese fries. Mm-hmm. Is that garlic Parmesan fries? A little ham sandwich, is it? Yes. Get you some nice, they got some really nice food options really nice food options everything looks so so yummy so i really like that they they gave different feels for um this space compared to the beach i really like this house of cards very nice i like how this is a really nice community based um beach resort and i haven't seen i haven't come across many of these in second life so I'm very glad that I was able to find this spot to be able to show you guys. They have lots of nice um, seating spaces. I like that they make some of them elevated and then some of them are lower. But regardless of where you sit, all of the views are nice. Every place that I've gone to, when I've looked around at the views, all of the views are nice. They have so many cool like pool hangout areas over here all around actually i really like that although there are a lot of rentals and the majority of the rentals are occupied i like that they make sure that there are multiple different spaces so that people don't have to feel crowded out um, when they are going around the land because it's very easy to be crowded out on these lands if they are not landscaped properly so I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up, you guys. So this was a really nice um, surprise for a beach resort that I found today. There are lots of things to do at Kulani Beach Resort and all-inclusive hangout. So make sure you guys check this place out. The landmark will be in the description box below. So hope you guys enjoyed this video just as much as I enjoyed bringing it to you guys. Make sure you all like, comment, and subscribe. And as always... 
I'll see you guys next time.